is the Brewer Hotel. And this would have been, and it says movie site for Shawshank. So this would have been where Brooks and Red had stayed after they'd been paroled. Even have everything up there that says Shawshank on it. And it's part of the Shawshank Trail. So, yep. That's the building right there. But the interior was not used. Uh, obviously, you've seen for Brooks or Red's room the interior was actually shot at the prison so we're gonna move on to their next spot all right so this is the pawn shop it's actually an antique store here in Mansfield but this was the pawn shop where Red would have bought his compass so I don't know exactly what part of what window he was looking in but you can see this is the part in Shawshank Redemption where he would have been looking for his compass. Usually they have something on the window saying that, but it doesn't. So we're going to move on. All right, so we're walking up to the bench where Brooks would come to the park and feed the birds. Why would he come and feed the birds? I don't remember. Remember? I just read it. He had a crow or a raven. Oh, yeah. And he was hoping that he would come show up someday. So this is where Brooks would come to feed the birds. Sit down there, Marge. Act like you're feeding birds. I don't care if you want to. We are now at the grocery store where Brooks and Red worked after they were, after their uh, probation. Right? So. You mean their parole? Their parole, yes. Oh, yeah, that's what I was talking about. How did you miss that? I don't know. I missed that, but I missed it. <laughs> I don't know if you're allowed to film when you go in. But we might be able to look at the front. So it's just, I mean, right now, it just, it's a mark. I don't know how much of it is like. Like from the movie, but they do have the movie site. It's at a bus stop, which probably Brooks would take back to his room. But, all right, so this is... The road that Red walked going to Buxton when he was going to uh, the tree to find the message that Andy left for him. So it's just out here. It's not even near Mansfield. We're closer to Belleville, Ohio. But if you if you've seen the movie, this is what exactly what it looks like when he was started walking down this way. So this. Is in the original audio of this, I say this is where uh, Red went when he got out of prison off the bus. This is actually where Red gets on the bus to go see Andy. So if you look down there at the White House and the Red Barn, you'll see that in the movie as it goes past. So for some reason, the Shawshank Trail took us to this place called Malabar Farms, which is said to be one of the most famous farms in America and they said that Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall got married here so but I have not seen anything that has anything to do with Shawshank I think maybe it was just something that was near that they added because it had a Hollywood connection maybe is you think that's what it might have been I don't know. tell me Marge tell me I don't know <laughs> I don't know I don't know why we're here so and I'm not for sure if we got the right tree area but we're gonna go up here and we're gonna read this sign and see what if it has a connection or maybe it's just a Hollywood oh. connection. But so Lewis Bromfield, he he was a writer and I guess he owns owns or he owned the farm. I don't know if the Bromfield people family still own it. They might. But you can take tours here and we're not taking a tour. But we're gonna see what this is. 
All right, so what we just found out is that the guy was a writer. He was a conservationist, and he bought this farm. He served in World War I, and uh, eventually his family moved to France at one time. So all it was is I think was just a connection to Hollywood is what this was because he's, they said he wrote like 30 different books. So, but they said he wrote nonfiction is what he wrote. So. So this would be the opening scene from the Shawshank Redemption. And this would have been the cabin that Andy was sitting across from when he knew that his wife was with the golf instructor inside. And then later on they would be killed and uh, Andy would take the blame. So this and you can't see very well because of the bean filled. But in this area is the tree that Red had to go to to get the, uh, the money and the message from Andy to tell him where to go to meet him in Mexico. So, so yeah, so we got had the wrong place. We did find the right place. It's just across the street from Malabar Farms. So, and uh, they said Malabar Farms is the best place to view, but I'm standing on the side of the road because there is a thing called public easement and I'm using public easement. So Margie dropped me off and she's gonna come back and pick me up and we're heading off to the bank. All right, so we're in Ashland, Ohio and uh, the bank right here, which isn't a bank anymore, but I don't think it's a bank anymore, is the bank that Andy Dufresne visits after he escapes prison and uh, takes all the money out that the warden has had him put. It was basically, what were they doing? What were they doing? Laundering. Yeah, laundering. They were, well, they weren't just laundering. They were doing more, weren't they? Because they were taking advantage of the system for Should stuff. It used to be called the Farmer's Bank. I guess it was called the Farmer's Bank. So I don't know. I'm. They're not open. They're only open Monday. So I was hoping to see maybe we could see through the windows. Maybe we could see the big vault because they do have the big vault. And I don't see it, but we can go on down maybe. So here's what the front door looks like. And then one of the desks. So. I don't think we're going to be able to see the ball. I think you're going to have to go in. They actually do stuff for the Shawshank Trail. So, and if you come during the time they're open, they do a lot of stuff where you can take pictures in front of the vault and everything like that. But this might have been one of the areas where Andy sat when he was talking to the bank president. Okay, we did get close enough. You can see the vault from the door. So you can see the door is open to the vault and everything like that, just like what it was in the movie. So thanks to Margie, she came up a little closer and seen this. All right, so we're basically gonna be finished the video. That, that's the Shawshank Trail. There's a lot to this whole entire trip. Yeah. yeah so Margie, tell them about it. Well, there's a couple places in Sandusky. I don't yeah, know yeah, yeah Sandusky, Sandusky. That's a, it's a ways away. But uh, other than that. It was fun. Yeah, it was fun going to the different places, but other than that. What? like our motel room. There you go. Yeah. That place should just have uh, it all. It's not good. It looked like it was going to be nice by the pictures and everything like that. And then when we got there, it was horrible. We pretty much believe that the people that staying next door to us lives there. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, and we have one more night there tonight and then we're heading home. But that's, that's going to do it. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, going on the Shawshank Trail. Probably the biggest part of this whole entire video was probably going to the Ohio Reformatory. Oh my gosh, it was so cool. And uh, we will see you on the next adventure. Bye. Bye.